everybody, my name is Kylie Phillips and I am the Community Education Associate at Ballet Austin. I'm also a certified yoga instructor, so today I will be leading you through a yoga series for kids. This series is based on a yoga flow out of the book by Kirsten Hall titled Yoga for Kids. Today we're going on a yoga adventure. All you need is yourself. I have my yoga mat here, but if you don't have a yoga mat at home, you can use a towel or find a place on carpet at home to sit. We'll be doing some poses seated or laying down, as well as some standing, so make sure you have a little bit of space around you to move. Let's get started by sitting here in a crisscross pose, or easy pose, as we call it in yoga, or sukhasana. You'll take your hands down to your knees, and then on the count of three, let's close our eyes. One, two, Three, everybody's eyes, is, eyes are closed. As we sit here in our easy pose, let's take big breaths. So start by taking an inhale in, and then exhale through the mouth as you blow the breath out. Again, big inhale, filling up the lungs. Big exhale. Keep going with that breath. And as you inhale, imagine that you're blowing up a big balloon. And then exhale and blow the air out through the mouth. Again, take a big inhale, blowing up your balloon of the belly. And then exhale, blow all the air out. As you keep taking your big breaths, perhaps you imagine a color for your balloon. You can pick your favorite color, or maybe your color will reflect how you're feeling today. Maybe if you're happy, your balloon is the color yellow. Or if you're feeling calm, maybe your balloon is blue. Take a couple more breaths here. Big inhale. Exhale, keeping those eyes closed. One more breath all together. Everybody take a big inhale. And then exhale. Holding here, keeping your eyes closed. We are resting up. This is our rest for the adventure that we're going on today. Our yoga adventure as a group. Slowly open your eyes. And we'll come into our car pose. So take your legs out in front of you. Your heels will dig into the ground. Your arms are in front of you, holding on to your steering wheel. And then round your spine back so that you're using your stomach muscles to hold you on your seat. As you drive your car, let's take it to the right side and then to your left side. So you'll probably be going opposite directions as me. Good, little side to side. Maybe your road is bumpy. Try driving on a bumpy road. Or maybe your road is smooth and so you can go really fast forward and really fast backward. Try it again, go forward and then reverse your car. Again, big forward and back. Maybe you're driving up big hills and then down the road. Again, try driving up the hill and then down the road. And as we continue driving our car up and down, maybe side to side, go ahead and pick a place that you'd like to go on your adventure today. If you're with a friend doing your yoga pose, you guys can discuss and agree on a yoga place that you want to go. Or maybe you're by yourself and you can say it out loud. Or you can say it in your mind and just imagine where you're going on your adventure. Little side to side in your car. Oh, oh, oh no! I think we ran out of gas. Hmm, I have an idea though. Let's go ahead and get our bicycles and we'll bicycle there. So lay to the side, all the way down on your back. Your hands relax down and you'll take your legs to the sky, cycling your legs for cycling yoga pose. So you're creating big circles with your legs. 
keeping your stomach muscles and your core nice and tight. Maybe you ride your bike really fast. And then maybe you take your bike nice and slow. Try that again. Going nice and fast like you're in a hurry. And then slow your bike down as you get more and more tired from all of that bicycling. Go ahead and draw your legs in. Rock and roll it up. After all that biking, I think we deserve a little massage. So go ahead and reach forward toward your toes for your standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Reach for your feet and give those feet a little massage. If it's hard to reach your feet, you can also reach for your shins. Just make sure you're avoiding your knees and you can give your shins or your calves a little massage. So either your shins or your feet. Maybe you massage your big toes and your middle toes. And last, go ahead and massage your baby toes. And then bend your knees and slowly roll up. Well, all of that biking was fun, but we didn't quite get to our destination. So let's take an airplane. Let's go ahead and step a leg forward. You'll find your balance. So take your hands to your hips to start and reach forward. Your leg goes behind you. You flex your foot like you're putting it on a wall behind you. This will be a modified Warrior Three or Virabhadrasana Three. So take your arms out to the side. Here you're working to find your balance. And something that helps find balance is if you look in one spot and hold your focus on that one spot on the floor or in front of you. Good, and if you want an added challenge, you can sway from side to side as if you're floating through the sky in your airplane. In order to fly low, we'll have to connect to a helicopter. So reach your arms down low, take your leg down to the floor, and then round your spine like a helicopter, like you're hovering right over the ground, maybe swinging those arms around side to side. Good, and when our helicopter lands, we'll connect to a boat. So you're coming down, to seated, you'll sit on your booty cheeks and take your legs in front of you as you're trying to find your balance with those legs out in front of you, holding behind your legs. Your stomach muscles are working hard as you sit proud in your boat, your chest is lifted. And let's row the boat side to side. So you can row side to side with those arms. Or if that's too difficult, just stay as the captain of your boat, nice and tall here. So either rowing, or leading those who are rowing by being the captain of your boat. What a beautiful day as we go on our adventure. Whew, but man, it's getting hot out here with the beautiful sun shining on us. I think we should jump in and go for a swim. What do you say? So lay it on down. Again, we'll take those legs up to the sky and we'll repeat our cycling yoga pose. But now we'll add the arms like you're swimming. So taking a backstroke, the arms go up and around, back behind you and around as you do your legs. So working on your coordination as you swim, keeping in mind where you're headed, where your adventure is taking you today. And as we continue to swim, We'll look from side to side, checking out the view. So your feet come flat, your arms are in a T shape. Rock your knees to one side, and then look over your opposite shoulder. Revolved abdomen pose. Take a deep breath here. And then switch those knees, check out the view to the other side. So knees go one way, your focus or your eyes go the opposite way. Take those knees side to side gently, rotating in the spine, twisting side to side like windshield wipers with those knees. A little rock side to side, checking out the beautiful view on your adventure. Good, side to side as you're swimming, checking out that gorgeous view. And finally, you've arrived. Go ahead and take those legs out long. Your hands come down by your sides with your palms facing up. 
We made it to the shore of your destination or your adventure location. Go ahead and close your eyes again on the count of three. One, two, three. And return to that deep breathing. So taking that inhale through the nose. And then exhale, push the air out through the mouth. Again, a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Keep your breathing going. And as you do this, maybe imagine that the waves of the water are crashing up, just tickling your toes as you lay there on the shore. Maybe feel the back of your body sinking down like it's sinking into sand if you're laying on the beach or on the edge of the lake. Imagining the clouds floating overhead, the different shapes of the clouds in the sky. Take a couple more deep breaths. And then slowly wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing some life back into them. Then you can blink your eyes open, coming back to your room and your house. Great job on that adventure today. From here, gently roll to one side. We're gonna come up to seated. So back to our easy pose. Your legs are crisscross. Your arms are out by your knees again. We'll finish our yoga adventure today with two more big deep breaths. So take a big inhale and then exhale, blowing the air out. One more big inhale and then exhale. Good job, everybody. You should be proud of yourself for your hard work on your yoga adventure today. From all of us at Ballet Austin, be well.